Hey everyone, this is Kieran. Today's exercise is looking at some early stage rehab around one of our ankle muscles. It's the perineal longus and brevis. Many of the longus is the focus here. Um, and we're talking about a muscle that's on the outside of your shin here that goes all the way down and then wraps under your foot. So if that's an area where you've had an injury on the outside of the ankle, um, or you're having trouble with like pushing down off the ground, this would be an exercise uh, that's useful for you. With the perineal longus muscle and brevis, they've got similar sort of origin points where they attach onto this fibula bone on the outside here. The brevis is a little shorter, brev for, I guess, brevity, um, and it starts a little bit lower down on the bone, whereas the longus lives a little bit higher up here. The brevis is gonna swoop down behind this malleoli on the outside here and go onto this fifth styloid process, which is that kind of hook on the edge of the foot over here. So not a super long muscle, and it's really good at pulling the foot this way into eversion, okay? The perineal longus has a bit of a longer way to travel. It's gonna come down the side here, go behind that malleoli, wrap under here, underneath that cuboid, and then it comes kind of across and leaves a bit of a spider web of attachments. But the one that's really interesting is on the bottom of this first metatarsal here. And so when we tighten the muscle, it helps push down that, that big toe knuckle. So it helps push this guy down this way. So it has a role to play when we're pushing off the ground, which is something that I think gets a little bit missed out when we're think, considering rehab of this muscle. And when we look at some of the research, which we'll talk about is we need to sort of bias the position of the foot to really encourage activation of that muscle or full activation. Um, but if we start with early stage perineal rehab, we're usually gonna start um, in an open kinetic chain. So we're gonna be offloaded. It's not to say that calf raises aren't relevant, but if someone's had a fresh injury, I mean, an isolated strain of this muscle isn't as common. Um, I've seen it happen in person, and it was a very specific angle with a very specific wobble to the ankle. Um, whereas usually this muscle is gonna get strained in conjunction with um, other things like the lateral ligaments on the outside. But according to uh, looking at some of some of the research, if you can get a band and pop it on the outside of the foot here, now that, I mean the co-activation at this sort of level isn't going to be a problem like around developing patterns that could cause you an issue later on. I mean if you were doing this at very heavy loads where your full body was engaged, that might be something that we'd want to talk about. But with this band a bit, we don't have to worry too much. And this is an easy setup. It's easy to access and it's easy to just sort of redo repeatedly. Whereas some of the other exercises are a little bit finicky. You gotta wrap the band around here and like anchor over here and people get all twisted and that can be enough of a barrier to not doing an exercise. But with this, nice and easy. So with the setup, at least what the research is kind of implying is that we want the toe to foot to plantar flex a little bit. And then we wanna get into this out position, at least for the band. And then I need to push the foot this way. So that forefoot, the front of the foot, there's everting a little bit going into this kind of movement. So if we focus maybe on the right foot actually, because we've got our bony foot here, I'm looking at twisting the foot this way. Okay. And it's a little bit different if I bring the big toe into it. So if I just try and push and let my keep my toes kind of relaxed, I get some feeling around here. But if I push sideways, and try to plant, push down at the same time. So I'm doing those two things. I'm going down and sideways. So down this way. Then I really feel that activation of that muscle kick in there. And this is a nice way to start building some endurance. You could build up to like 60 second holds. We've got both feet being kind of the anchor and you're just trying to resist the band pulling you in like that, okay? If that started to get a little bit easy for you with just the hold, then you could start to do some of the movements through range. It's not gonna be a bad thing to do, but once you can do that and it's not feeling too, too wobbly, we wanna start increasing the load. That's where we head into our calf raises. 
So that'll be um, another video, just to keep things kind of separate. If you want to read a little bit more, then by all means, jump into some of um, the, the research that we attach to this. But pretty straightforward, and you just need a rubber band. If you don't have that, I guess you could use like a door frame or something, and you just need something solid and push, 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 push. But that's a little bit tricky because then you're having to generate the force, and it's better in this situation to have to, to react to a force and resist. And it's just going to, the heavier it gets, the more that muscle is going to be recruited. And because it's a small muscle, chances are we can maximally recruit the whole thing. Um, that's a, a sort of different conversation around small versus big. But anyway, I'm getting, starting to ramble a bit now. Set up, toes down, band around the feet. That kind of ball the foot down, out to the side. Hold, hold, hold. Really push the big toe down as well. And by big toe, we're not talking about big toe hooking. We're talking about that kind of ball of the foot pushing down, okay? So let us know how you get on with that. If you've got any trouble, uh, feel free to ask some questions. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.